everyone welcome back to the channel i'm doing a quick little color and chat today so it's not a color along unfortunately on this one but i've had my little boy off school all week he's got tonsillitis so he's not been very well he's on antibiotics but i think today's the first day i can tell he's better because he's kind of very very loud today so he's going back to school tomorrow um but if you hear him in the background he's a crazy loon is a crazy loon so you might hear him but i thought i'd just pop on i was doing this one last night i kind of i did the hair and then i wanted something really subtle for the um base color of this blouse so i just got i think it was a cold it was some shade of cold gray from the polychromos set and i really just followed the gray scale that was already there and then put in some white as well so i've kept this blouse a kind of you know white shade and then i drew in the hearts myself the hearts wasn't there originally i've drawn them in myself and then just done a block color of red um so the book in case you're wondering is this one now unfortunately this isn't available on amazon uk but all these pages you can purchase as a pdf on a etsy store so i will link that down below for anyone what wants it now i did just last night pop up on my instagram stories a little poll because i wasn't sure what to what color to do this bow I actually made a bit of a typo my question said what colour should I do the how instead of bow? I put a her instead of a bee, <laughs> but it should have been bow. And I was toying between making it the same as this hair, so red, sort of red hairs, or mint green, or a black glittery effect, or a red glittery effect. And I've not been back to look at the poll yet to see what was on there. But just in this colour and chat, I'm going to do my background, I think. And I'm going to take inspiration from a Pantone card I did some time ago. Um, if I can just find it by moving a lot of stuff out the way here. Um, oh no, it's not in there. I was looking in the wrong thing then to show you. Let me check where I've put my Pantone cards. This could be fun. I've got them. <laughs> I moved them out the way when my daughter was using my desk for her artwork. But yeah, oh, here it is. So I'm going to try and take inspiration from this window that I did and try and create an arch around her. So she, as if she's standing in an archway or a window, I'm not sure which one it's going to be yet. But I'm going to try and draw it in and um, see what we can see what we can do because it's there's not a lot of room at the top to sort of get over that bow on her head. And do you know what I mean? So I'm going to try and map this out um, i don't know whether to start at the top and just i've got my needable eraser in case i need to erase because i will do to straighten this out up i can guarantee i can guarantee let's bring you down a little bit <laughs> but yeah i've been enjoying coloring this page and it's valentine's day today so happy valentine's day to everybody who may be celebrating we don't really celebrate to be honest we've um I know it sounds morbid but we've been together 20 24 years now five kids down the line and we don't we never really celebrated valentine's day to be honest it's just one of them days isn't it where you're pressured to go out, where the men are pressured to go out and buy buy stuff for the women i think a lot of the time right i'm gonna twist my book around why right? you probably won't see this line it's very faint but i'm just going to try and twist my book around so i can kind of get this going down here and sort of continue this line all right i'm going to turn it back around and see Got something on the page there i don't know what it is i think that's from when i colored the hair and we had a little mark so i'm quite happy with where that is situated i know you won't see it very well but now i've got that to where i want it i'm now gonna go in with a fine liner over the top so i'm just wondering what size fine liner to go for let me have a look all these fine liners that i use are archival quality so you can sort of the water and fade proof um you can't see water and fade proof so you can actually go over the top of these pens with watercolour and um it won't smudge the ink or anything like that so just let me see how sort of thick this line is yeah that's perfect so i'm just gonna go over my line now <laughs> trying to be careful because don't you get a wobbly hand or is it just me to get a really wobbly hand and then you end up with a wobbly line but i'm gonna make this 
a sort of thick line in the end, I think. But yeah, I'm kind of not breathing at the minute. I try and get my line straight. <laughs> so ignore me. And yeah, I've not decided if I just want it to be a bit like an archway and then do lots of gold metallic watercolour in the centre. Like, I've got an idea in me, I don't know what I'm looking for. Or whether to do it like the window I've just showed you in my pantal painting. I really don't know. I think it'll be a lot of work to go in and do all those raindrops on this because it's on such a large scale. I don't think I would enjoy doing that. So obviously once I've gone over this with the pen, um, once I feel like it's dry and it's not going to budge on me, then I can go back in and erase any pencil lines that might be showing. But right now I am just trying not to breathe where I get a steady line or as steady as I can. So I'm not the steadiest person in the world. That was my little boy. <laughs> he's definitely ready for school tomorrow. But the only thing is, he's been given a 10 day course of antibiotics. So, and they're the ones that need to be kept refrigerated. So what I'm going to have to do is take them to the school office, the meds take the meds to the school office every morning and um, pick them up every afternoon because they need to give him a dose at dinner time like with his lunch so yeah so there I don't know I don't know whether I should do this as a window like having my painting or whether I should just splash watercolour on I'm really unsure about it I'm really unsure should I do it as a window should we, should we not copy it? Should we do it as a window? Right, so on my window, I know it's different because my painting's sort of a white, sort of, do you call them French windows when they're like white and big like that? Or is that just me? Um, but obviously, we've got a black frame on this one, but I am going to sort of do a second line. So we've got this thickness and then I'll put all these, well, I'll try and put these lines in. And we'll just we'll just do that. We'll just do that. I might not finish it in this video, but if um, I might film it sped up or something like that and post it on my stories if I if I don't get a chance to do it here. So I'm just trying to think if we go on the inside or the outside. We'll go on the outside. So we'll put the second line on the outside. It might just go over the page at the top, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. It'll go into the page and off the page kind of thing. So I'm just going to carefully try and not breathe and go over this line. But this line is going to be filled in somehow. I might either have the frame black or I'll have the frame gold or maybe like a silver chrome. I've got the liquid chrome watercolour which is a really nice one. Yeah, I've not decided what colour I'm doing the frame of the window yet, but we're just getting the initial lines in. Let me turn you around. I think it's alright if it's a little bit wobbly. There's something authentic about it. <laughs> that's what I'm going with. If, it's, if it ends up a bit wobbly, that's what I'm going with. It's authentic. It looks handmade. Come on, we can all tell I've done it. Right, so we're going to go off the page a little bit there and then remember where the line is and come back in. Oh, let me turn it that way. I can get a better angle this way. I don't like twisting my hand the other way. Has anybody ever thought about doing something like this with a colouring page, like drawing your own little elements in? Would you be brave enough to do something like this? 
Like I say, I'll pop the um, link to her Etsy store in the description of this video. You can't get hold of the book, unfortunately, but if you bought the PDF pages off Etsy, you could always put your own book together. So that's our sort of frame that we've got so far. Now, on my sort of painting that I did, we've got this line going from top to bottom, but there's only going to be a little bit showing at the bottom and a little bit showing at the top. But the line's sort of straight in the middle and it's the same kind of thickness as the edges because it's kind of um, the same thing, maybe a little bit thicker. And then we need to get that line in the same sort of place at the bottom. So that's not long enough, that really. <laughs> I did have a really long one. I don't know where it's gone. I was using it for something last week in a video. I don't know where it's gone, so I'm just going to estimate it, right? This is the bottom bit here. So I'm just going to pretend to draw a line. So if you sort of get your pen there, follow it down. Well, probably not right, but it's going to be about there. And then the second one, it's going to be about there. All right, doesn't have to be perfect, but that's where I'm going with. And then I've sort of got a line that goes at the top bit of the window so maybe about here going across and the same thing I'm going to estimate it so about there and then we're going to do a line underneath where we're going to have a nice thickness to it so about there same on this side about there so we've got a initial lines in there and then we've sort of got something in the middle which you wouldn't see let me show you so we've sort of got this a smaller arch which you wouldn't see because she's stood in front of it and then we'd have two more of these lines so i'm going to pop those in so i'm going to make them so that sort of you know spaced out equally so i'm going to pop one here and we'll just pop that line in. And then making sure that it's kind of in the same place on the other side. So let me straighten my book up. So maybe around the around the butterfly kind of height there. And then let's start from here then I know a better way to go. Kind of. And then we need one more further down to split these two columns up so I reckon about there and then same on the other side about there so again it doesn't have to be perfect but kind of something like that and then we've got some diagonal lines now these lines are thinner so you'll see just at the top we've created triangle shapes just by putting a thinner line at the top there so I'm going to do that so it'll, it'll come so if you imagine the bottom of this line where it would meet that line so it'd be somewhere around I don't know the that's where we want the other line going that way so we're going to go about here and it's going to be a thinner line so we're going to sort of do it about there and the same on the other side so if we imagine where the middle point would be about the whoop zoomy about the something like that wouldn't it and just make this one thinner oh gosh <sighs> and breathe so that's that so what I'm going to do now is get some of my gouache, grey gouache paint because what I did on this one was I painted all the background in first and then I went over the top for the raindrops, I think, if I remember rightly. I'm trying to remember what I did. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to pop out some grey gouache if I can find some. One second. So just for reference, I'm using the Turner acrylic gouache. So I've, I've only recently got these, I've done one painting with them, but they feel 
the same as the Holbein acrylic gouache, but these were a lot cheaper. So it's a really good find, actually. I'm glad I found them. I found them on Instagram because they're quite popular, those Turner's gouache. So I'm going to mix a grey because obviously I need a scrap piece of paper as well. And let's get this scrap envelope underneath here just for the bottom bits because we're going to run into problems there, have we? Um, I'm going to mix a grey. So I've got obviously got some black and some white acrylic gouache on the side of a palette here and I'm just going to mix up some greys. Let me look what I did on my painting. The greys, I think I did it darker at the bottom, sort of the bottom half. I can't find the painting now. Slotted into place before, fell straight on the page I wanted. Yeah, I think I did it darker at the bottom bits. So we'll kind of go in there with the bottom bit darker. So the thing with gouache as well is that light colours dry darker and dark colours dry lighter. So you can kind of bear that in mind a little bit when you're painting as well. So it's, you might find it a bit strange as well. I find it strange myself. Normally I do the skin first and then everything else. And then I do the background, but I just felt like compelled to do the background today. I don't know what it was. So, yeah, I'm just going to start at the bottom and get this gouache in. I love acrylic gouache because it has this sort of, it's more opaque. It's smoother and creamier, I find. I really love it. I think these brushes that I've picked up at the minute are the Fumu Fumui? Fumui ones, these ones. I got sent these ones for review and I really like these ones. Oh, let's step back into the paint and just get under here. This is where my arm gets shaky because I'm like, oh no, don't want to go into anything. <laughs> That's why, guys, you should make sure your illustration's coloured first. And when I get to the top, the butterfly's out coloured and the um, bow isn't coloured, so I'm a bit like, eek. But it does dry really nice acrylic gouache, so if you've got any, if you, if you think you've got any sort of marks or lines when you put it down it dries pretty pretty nice i'm gonna add a bit more white in now at the top to try and just sort of bring in a paler color still trying to be careful around here so we'll just get the edges in first and then i'll play around with getting this a better blend on this Let me wipe my brush off. I'm gonna go in on the other side now. It's unusual for me to use gouache in a colouring boot. Normally I use it on a surface that I've used that I've gessoed, so it does feel a bit different doing this in a colouring book for me. I'm just trying to be a bit careful as well. Now unfortunately when you do a background like this you can sort of put the paint you know create a box around the name like that which I think would look a bit weird if I did that I don't know you could do that or just make sure you credit the artist when you pop your picture finish picture on Instagram make sure that you credit the artist because obviously the name the name is no longer um on here now you've painted the background so just make sure you credit the artist and all will be well Add some white onto my brush now just to come up here. I 
Oh, someone at my door. One second. I'm back. Oh, that's a report I've been waiting for for ages. My youngest girl got her autism diagnosis in June 2023. And they give a time scale of 16 weeks to send out a detailed report of where they met the criteria for autism. And it's been 30 three weeks for it's took to send this report out it's supposed to send it out within 16 weeks it's took 33 weeks and that's because i had to chase it up i was constantly emailing them saying can i have this report asap please so it's, it's ridiculous but i've got it now i'll give it a good read later give it a good read through there we go. Right. As we get moving up. God, I'm out of breath. You know when the door goes and you run down the stairs. Let me get a drink of water. What am I like? Yes, I know I need more exercise. But what can we do? I'd rather sit here and paint than go for a walk. <sighs> I've got my Valentine's Day nails on today as well. I forgot to show you. Look, Kerbers. Look at those Kerbers. So if you're interested in these gel nail strips um i've got the link for those in the description as well i get a nice 10 percent discount off my next order if anyone orders through the link just to be transparent with you all right so i'm going to mix up a lighter gray now for this next panel let's get you in i think the gray looks really nice against the red as well what do you think and it was a bit not risky what's the right word when you're being a bit daring with something. I don't know, I don't know what word I'm looking for, but hopefully it'll be worth it in the end of this page. But you don't have to sort of worry too much about these books or if you print a PDF, because there's nothing on the back of these pages. They're not, uh, the book isn't double-sided, it's single-sided. But obviously if you print this off as a PDF, then you can put it on your own cardstock paper and do what you want with it, basically. I know people that print pages out on watercolour paper. You know, if they've got a really good printer that prints on thick watercolour paper, some people do that. Yeah, we might lose a bit of that, yeah. We're going to lose that hair. I think I'll have to paint over it. That strand of hair, I can't quite get around it. So we'll just paint that out. That's fine. It's not going to do anything. Let's get in this edge. Yeah, I think the framework i might do gold metallic watercolor at the end right now i don't want to get rid of this hair strand but it might be the case if i can't get around it again I should have got my smaller paintbrush out, but I'm not sure where it, whether it's there in my pot or not. If you get a really fine detail brush, you'd be a lot better. You'd fur a lot better than I am doing right now. Let's just wet this a bit more. If you get a looser consistency on your acrylic gouache, it makes it a bit easier to get into the corners rather than trying to scrape around something that's too thick. Let's be careful round here. There we go. So I'm going to use the same colour that we've got mixed to do this side. Why it's already there on the palette. Let's start with, I'm sorry if my hand's in the way at the minute, I need to get into the tiny bits. Yeah, my son's definitely ready for go back to school tomorrow. He's having too much fun on that iPad. <laughs> He's playing games and going, yeah, raw. And then he keeps coming out with John Cena. I'm like, what? How? Have you noticed though, everything that was popular when we was growing up is making a comeback. Like, he was singing Slim Shady over there, obviously not swear words. He was just saying that one phrase. Um, I'm Slim Shady, so I'm the real Shady. And I'm like, Casper, he's like six years old. 
<laughs> but it's all over like TikTok. It's coming back all over TikTok and stuff. Even that Sophie Alex Baxter song has come back because of that film I've not watched. I've not watched that film. I've heard things about it that it's that it's a bit weird. That Saltburn. Um, I've not watched it, but they've brought back the Sophie Alex Baxter song from that film apparently. That murder on the dance floor song. So that's all over TikTok now. So the kids are singing that. I'm like, I, I used to sing that when I was little. Well, I said little when I was probably a teenager. That used to be one of them songs what always came on. You used to always watch um, the music channels on the TV. And that's one that always used to come on. And I always remember the video because she'd sing. Uh, she'd sing that part, wouldn't she? It's murder on the dance floor. And then she'd go clap her hands and then would someone like collapse on the dance floor would they absolutely <laughs> in the video i mean i'm sure that's what happened in the video <laughs> it's mad what you start remembering from your childhood isn't it i remember dancing to destiny destiny's child a lot when i was a teenager copying the dance videos oh he wouldn't catch me dancing nowadays you really wouldn't. Well, this is looking really pretty, actually. I love those greys against that. So I'm going to try and mix in a little bit more white now. So we're going even lighter. Oh, there's a hair. You know, one of my hairs from my from my hair, my beautiful hair. It's gone into the paint, and if I try and get that out, it's going to be all over my hands. But yeah, <laughs> I'll just have to. No, I can't get it. Oh, can I? Oh, I've got it. Nope. Get off. Put it on the towel at the side of me. Yeah, I've ended up with paint on me. But it was going right into it. <laughs> Get that off. Get off. Get off there. Right, so I've got an even paler colour mixed up now for the next panel set here. Now, what's going to happen here, because of that butterfly and the, what are they called? Antennae. We're going to lose them because I'm not going to be able to paint around them. They're too teeny tiny. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint over the little antennae because it can't be helped. And once I've coloured everything at the end, once I've done the background, once I've coloured the actual butterfly, I can then draw them back in with the same pen I used for the arch of the window here. I can draw them back in. So that's not a problem. Don't ever feel like, you know, you can't do something like that. If you go over something and you're like oops then you can draw it back in same with that line i've just gone over with the paint i can draw it back in if needs must that's the good thing about the uh fine liner pens i love them me you get all the different sizes as well i think when i first i've got quite a few different sets now i've got some of the uniball pin um ones i've had the micron pens and i got sent the daily rooney fine liners they're all really, really good. You can't really... Well, I've not noticed a difference, to be honest. They all work the same. I'm going to try and... Be very careful around this butterfly now. I don't want to lose the details on the wings. Really. Get that in there. Right now I've just got to get into the edging bits. These for me, for me with brushes though are really nice for a sort of budget friendly brush. I can't remember how much there was on the website because obviously I got sent them to try. But I don't remember them being much. I think there was a set of eight. A set of six or a set of eight. And I'm sure it was only like nine, nine pounds or something. And my son's coming upstairs now, you'll hear him. I'm going to use the same colour we've got mixed for this side. Here. <laughs> Daft as a brush he is. I'm going out shortly to pick up his sisters from school, so he'll enjoy that. Then we're coming home. I have to rush round doing tea, making tea, or aka dinner for everyone who calls it dinner. And then he's just blowing his nose if you hear that <laughs> noise. Yeah, rush around making dinner, and then I've got to take um, my 11 year old. Oh, soon to be 11 year old. 
little girl to the young carers centre because they're doing what is he doing he's clearing his throat but very dramatically like men do you know? um yeah i'm gonna take her to the young carers centre where they do crafts with them and things for a couple of hours so um she's doing valentine's day crafts which is good i've just done um i've just decorated gingerbreads with my son we've put some little hearts on <laughs> little hearts on the gingerbread can you hear him in the background daft as a bush don't know what he's doing apart from making lots of silly noises <laughs> which i'm not even trying to edit out <laughs> talking to herself now. Tends to do that when he goes into the bathroom. Talks to herself. Anyone else? Just randomly talk to yourself in the bathroom? No idea. <laughs> right, I think I'm going to maybe darken it up a little bit now for these two side bits. Just a little touch. Just for some difference and then the, get that colour in. <laughs> I'm just laughing at my little boy, he's just chatting away to himself. Add a bit of water to this just to make it a bit looser. It really doesn't like that medicine though. Normally, antibiotics we get this yellow one. I don't know what flavour it is. It, it smells like sherbet and it's yellow. That's what we normally have. But this time, um, I think that's amoxicillin they normally give us but this time the doctors give him straight up penicillin so it's like it's obviously liquid because he can't swallow tablets um but it's like a clear liquid and it smells sweet but it's so bitter like i dropped when i was giving it him i dropped a tiny bit on my hand just there so i licked it off don't ask why this is what us mums do um <laughs> i licked it off and i was like oh now i understand why you don't like that it's disgusting but yeah, he doesn't like taking it at all. And he's had to have it four times a day for 10 days. So I actually have to go back to the chemist to pick up some more because the antibiotics, because they need to be kept refrigerated, they can only be kept for five days once they've been mixed. So because it's a 10 day course, um, they only give me five days worth because it only keeps it in the fridge for five days and then I have to go back to the chemist um, for the other five days worth, basically. So that's fun. Yeah, like I said, don't worry about any of the framework if you get a bit of this paint over the top of any of that because the frame will be being painted with like some sort of metallic colour. Right, I'm just going to mix a random grey now. I don't know what I'm going for. I think it's going to be lighter than this, but I don't know if it'll be lighter or darker than that one. I've just mixed up all my colours at the side and let's see what we get. So yeah, I think it's similar to this colour. But just mix up your greys, basically. There's no right or wrong to getting this background in. It's just... You know when it's raining outside and the sky's grey? It's pretty much just what we're going for. Just a grey atmosphere in the background there. Then when we get all the raindrops on eventually, maybe in the next part of the video, the next colouring chat, I don't know how much I'll get done in this part, guys, because I have to go back out to pick people up from school shortly. 
There's more emergency vehicles going past. I apologise. Take your earphones out, guys. It's wild around here lately. Honestly, it's wild. I don't know what's going on at all. It's been the same for about... I want to say it's been like this for about three weeks where we've sort of had a lot of police presence. Like, just... I don't know if they're cracking down on... Um dealers or whatnot but there seem to be a lot of you know police around like that let's just say uh... again with this butterfly if we go over the little antenna bit that's sort of sticking out there i will paint that back in with the fine liners You could do this on any page, like even if you've not got this page or you don't like this illustration but you wanted to do sort of this background on a different page, you could follow along with this video and um, do it on a different page as long as you can fit the arch over the illustration you've got. But yeah, it's going to be a two part of this because I have to go out shortly and obviously all this paint needs to dry before I go in doing the raindrops over the top. Um, so what I will probably do, is there another emergency vehicle? I gotta see what I mean. <laughs> see what I mean? Yeah, so when I go off this uh, video, I will probably colour the rest of the page, so I'll go ahead and colour her skin, I'll colour her bow, I'll colour her butterflies, and then when we come back to part two, I'll do all the raindrops for you. So this isn't a colour along of the whole page, it's just a tutorial on the rainy window, really. So part one is filling in, drawing it in and filling in the background, and part two will be the raindrops, guys. So. And if you're not already subscribed, then hit that bell, then do that. Hit that big bell. So I am going to fill in, why I'm here, just before I go, I am going to do the framework. So I'm not doing that in gouache, I'm going to do that in my metallic paint. So I'm just going to wet these so that they're ready. I'm using the Renaissance colours, if it wants to focus at all today, it doesn't. I'm using the Renaissance colours and I'm thinking... Mm, I'm thinking either one of these Dilly or Ritz bronze type colours or even that one or the liquid chrome. No, I think we'll go for a goldy one. I'm, I'm going to go for a gold type shade like a, like a bronze window, window. Oh, look at the colour of that water I've just put in there. That's disgusting, isn't it? I'm going to get, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. I'm going to get a thinner brush I think or should I don't know whether to go for a thinner brush or not I might actually go for that darker paint yeah I'm gonna go for this darker one so can you see it's called one Aldwych or something it's this one down here I'm gonna go for that one that seems to be a lot creamier and will sort of look nicer I think let me find a thinner brush because I really don't want to mess this up. <laughs> Let's try and find this. This brush might be better. Now this brush is one of the silver black velvet brushes. Now these are the pricier brushes but I really do like them. Oh, another emergency vehicle. What, what is going on? Let me see through the window see if I not can see. Yeah, police. Honestly, it's like I'm living in... What do, what's that saying? Beirut? Is that the saying? I don't even know what bare root is. I just hear people say it all the time. Well, it's like bare root right now. I don't... <laughs> it's just one of them sayings you don't really understand, but you just end up saying. So, yeah, I'm going to go in. <laughs> I'll start at the bottom, shall I? Shall I start, start at the bottom? So, this is just my metallic paint. You can use any metallic paints you have. A lot of people have the Clair Raw. I've never tried them, but they look really, really... Uh, really, really nice and metallic of them. Clearo, Clearo, Clearo. Don't know how to say it. Um, but yeah, they look really nice. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm 
starting to think I should have stick with the thicker brush now because I think this feels like it's going to take me forever to get these lines done with this paintbrush. I might switch to the thicker one. What do I think? Uh, not we'll stay with this one. Just for areas like that. You want to make sure that you've left um, your metallic paints to activate long enough so you get this really thick coat on the frame. That's what I'm going for. I don't want to see anything underneath. I want it to be very opaque, like a really thick layer of this colour if I can. So I am getting quite a lot on my brush this is a lovely colour absolutely lovely oops gonna hit the line a little bit not to worry no one's watching no one's looking that closely are they you're not are you Look away now. So this does take some time, that's why raindrops will be part two. Or oh, what I might do. No, I might stitch two videos together, but then I don't know how long it'll be, you see. I don't know how long the video would be if I did that. I'll finish this, see how long it's to me, and decide. But yeah, if you are enjoying Valentine's Day, I hope you have a lovely night. If anybody's celebrating, anybody going out for a meal or stopping in and making your own meal. Like I said, we don't celebrate, but I have sort of got something nice for tea. I've got some steaks in for tea, if that counts. Um, some ribeye, steak and chips, why not? <laughs> are you a steak and chip person or are you a steak and mash potato person? Or are you a steak and boiled potato person? Or are you don't even have potatoes or you doesn't have potatoes with it? Does anyone not have potatoes with it? Let me turn you around, but I think if I shine it in the light you can see how that colour goes so well you know what it looks lovely against her pink hair as well the pinks and the reds i'm glad i picked this rather than the liquid chrome silver colour because this gives it a warmth and richness let's get this paint a bit thicker let's get this bit I'm not breathing. <laughs> Hold your breath for this bit. Oh, tell me I've just put my arm in my gouache paint. No, nearly though. I nearly did. Don't be doing that. My palette's right at the side of my arm. <laughs> I saw a comment on um, Facebook the other day. Someone had popped on a little uh, post saying that they find it easier to follow along with being a left-handed person they find it easier to follow along with coloring tutorials from another left-handed person i've never noticed it makes that it matters has anybody else i'm left-handed but i've never noticed like when i've been following tutorials i've never found it any harder or less harder because of someone's um which hand someone uses i don't know i find it interesting does anyone find mine easier because I'm left-handed? I don't know, do you? Is that the way that works? Let me check on the time. Time is 1.41, so I've got about 20 minutes to get this rest of this um, 
frame work done because I will have to get ready to go out. I sort of, I go out at like quarter past two to go and get my daughter because I collect her a little bit earlier so that I can get round to the other school because they have children at different schools and none of them are independent so that they can bring themselves home. We don't have school buzzes over here as such that come and pick you up at your door and drop you off at your door. We don't um, have that. We have bus stops. My, my, my eldest child who goes to high school by herself, she gets on a bus, but you know, you just get off at the nearest bus stop to your house and then walk the rest of the way kind of thing and sometimes the buzzes being the rubbish buzzes service we've got round here sometimes they don't stop for you when you put your hand out for the buzz sometimes they don't turn up so then I have my daughter ringing me saying mum the buzz hasn't come or mum the buzz has gone straight past and then I end up having to do another school run so my two school runs turns into three school runs <laughs> it's joyous nice thick layer of this paint if you sort of once you finish painting the whole thing if you sort of see any areas you think oh I want a bit more paint on that bit you can always go back in at another time and just clean it up a bit I think my son's coming asking me something so be prepared for a little voice. Yeah. You alright lad? Yeah. When somebody hacked you? Yeah, I don't think they did that. No, look. What? Oh, you mean you just logged out? I didn't when I went from Roblox. It mm. looked like that. Oh. Well, we're going to have to wait till I can message Daddy now because Daddy's got the password. I don't have the password to log in. I forgot what the password was. <laughs> Daddy's at work, so I don't know when he's going to leak at his phone. I'll message him, but I don't know when he's going to leak at his phone to send the password over. Okay. But we're going picking Violet up very soon. Get a top and coat on yeah, yeah, I would. Goodbye. It's cute. It was dressed. He did have a top on, but he took it off. I said, "Why have you took it off?" No, just wanted to take it off. Don't ask. And it's not hot. It's freezing. <laughs> so I don't know why. Why he wanted his top off, but there we go. Boys will be boys. Oh, that's a thick layer. Let's pull that up there. I hope they don't demonetize my video for that either. I mean, not demonetize it, turn comments off. I remember ages ago I did a video with my eldest daughter. She wasn't in the video, you couldn't see her. But it was just a voice. We was um, doing some sort of tag video. And it was just a voice in the video. But because YouTube had picked up that it was a child's voice. I don't know what that child is doing. Because uh, YouTube had picked up that it was a child's voice. They kept turning comments off on my video. So yeah. That was fun. Singing Peaches now. We've not watched that film in ages. That's off um, Super Mario movie. Peaches. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn this round to get to the bottom bit now. Oh, it's just looking beautiful. Can't wait to get all that rain in actually. The rain details. 
Sl he likes slamming doors, that kid. What? <laughs> uh, I said you like slamming doors, can we not? Thank you. Have you got your top? Yeah. What are you wearing today? Nothing. Nothing. Before big one with Let's see this. Been poorly, aren't you? <laughs> mm? You're feeling better today though, aren't you? Eh? No, I feel that cough, but it comes out in you still have a cough that comes out of nowhere. <laughs> I still have that about 10 weeks later. It comes out like an apple. <laughs> no. <coughs> oh, well, that was convenient. <laughs> Just showing you all this cough. Right. What? I'm talking to these people on this video because I'm doing this video, aren't I? Oh, oh no, you'll have to turn that off, mate. Don't have that playing. They will turn me off. <laughs> I'm nearly done now, lad. Then we're going to go and get Violet. Have you got your shoes? Uh, <laughs> shoes. I don't have shoes on or socks on. Right, I'll just pull this up. Then you can see what we've done in this part. So that is most of the background done. And when we come back... For part two, I don't know whether I'll stitch it onto this video or whether it'll be a separate video, but you will know. <laughs> um, we'll do the raindrops in the background. So that's all the background is acrylic wash. And then everything you can see shining of the frame of the window is the Renaissance watercolour. So, so the, there, can't get my words out. What am I trying to say, lad? <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? So please do hit that big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. You want to say bye? No, it's gone shy. See you soon.